eventually there will come a time where we will just want to give up the whole spiritual marketplace. And the reason for that is quite obvious. It's stressful to be on this marketplace. It's stressful to constantly look for a deeper realization, a better experience, a more transformative insight. Maybe that's entertaining and fun for a little while, but eventually we just want to be whole, free, just live without looking for anything special anymore, without looking for any kind of transcendence anymore. And this insight is really important because if we don't recognize that eventually it's time to give up the spiritual marketplace, then we will just be looking forever, looking for the next best thing, looking for that which will finally fulfill us, finally give us freedom. But of course that doesn't mean that entering the spiritual marketplace was wrong in the first place. It's not wrong in my view. Because if we are caught in identification and fixation, then we need some kind of remedy to that. The alternative to not looking for any kind of remedy would be to just stay with the limitation, stay with the contraction. And while that's not inherently wrong, and you can obviously do that if you like, suffering often comes with that. And suffering, inherently, does not feel good to us. We want to relieve our suffering. And that's why we enter the spiritual marketplace. There's a good reason we do it. And even more importantly, there really is something to find there on the spiritual marketplace. And what's the best thing we can find there? Opinions can, of course, differ. People have very different views on what we should look for, what we can possibly get there. But in my view, the best thing we can find is our very own true nature. This unbounded awakeness, which we inherently are, can truly be discovered, can truly be realized in our own experience. And if we haven't realized that, it is very much worth looking for it and finding it. So seeking is not utterly worthless if it leads us to this recognition. Because when we realize what we really are, it can be obvious in a glimpse that wholeness, interconnectedness, unboundedness, awakeness is already here. And it's what we really are. And so we really did wind up finding something important on the spiritual marketplace. It just happened to be what we already are, what we've been all along, what we just happened to overlook. But once we have recognized our fundamental true nature, there is still very often a temptation to stay on the marketplace. Very often we have recognized what we really are, but we then assume that that's not it. There must be more. There must be some kind of transcendental, mystical experience which really transforms everything. And we think that because our true nature may seem unassuming at first. It doesn't come with mystical fireworks. It's just very ordinary, present, here, whole, awake, very intimate with everything. It has all of these inherent positive qualities, we could say, but we don't immediately appreciate them. We think there must be more to find. This, our true nature, doesn't come screaming and advertise itself as being the most important realization. But in my view, it really is. It really is so fundamental to recognize that we've been whole all along, that we can't get more awake inherently. People are looking for some kind of object which they can appreciate. But our true nature is not like that. It is without inherent objective qualities, 
but nevertheless it takes on the shape of everything we are experiencing. But the recognition of that isn't something extraordinarily amazing and mind-blowing immediately. The real value of it is that you realize you've been it all along, you've been whole all along, and eventually this very basic recognition will transform your entire body-mind experience. All fixations, all contractions, all sources of psychological suffering get lighter and lighter increasingly. And it's all happening from being what we already are knowingly. And it's all coming from this fundamental recognition. We are dropping all contractions and just being what we've always been effortlessly. And from this new way of being, all of these problems on the body-mind level get resolved in a very different way which we could not have foreseen. All of a sudden everything can have this flavor of perfection to it, which is always there but was just overlooked. But again, when I'm saying flavor of perfection, I'm not talking about anything mystical. I'm just talking about your very ordinary experience when it's free of this fixation and contraction. The peace of this, the beauty of this, is quite unremarkable on one hand, but yet it's truly amazing on the other hand. And there really are no adequate ways to describe it. But if we're looking for something extremely special, then we're looking for something that's not fundamental. And if it's not fundamental, it will come and go. It won't really be the peace we are looking for. So the important thing is that once we recognize what we've always been, we live from and as that. And we stop looking for something better, something more fulfilling, because we've already found it. And then it's just a matter of having confidence in our true nature. Having confidence that being what we truly are is the adequate solution to our problems of psychological suffering. We are trusting the inherent goodness, wholeness, peace and wisdom that is inherent in our being. And that doesn't of course mean that all relative problems get resolved immediately. That would just be a naive assumption. And that's why people keep seeking, because they want the quick fix. They want the magical medicine that will just make all problems go away. But the much more wise and mature response is to be our true nature, live from it, and then encounter all of these seeming problems in a totally different way. And very often they just don't appear as problems anymore. And if there is something to resolve, we can then do it in a very different way because it's being done from what's fundamental as opposed to what's just a limited identification. So if you have recognized what you really are, trust yourself to not look for something more than that. Just get to know what you truly are more deeply and then learn how to live as that. And eventually it will become quite obvious that there's nothing more to look for. You're already it. And this truly is the solution to your problems.